So here's what I'm, uh, this is the first series of videos that I will be doing. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to talk to you about, and at the same time, I'm going to use this paint as a kind of like a canvas. So I will explain how most of the stuff that I will do with you is to lecture with it as well. So <clears throat> I have to explain to you how the internet works and before you can get coding with the web pages and all the FTP accounts and, and everything else with it. Um, so I want to pose a question. The question is, um, how does the internet work? You know, how does the internet work with it? And this is what you're doing with it. So what happens when you actually go in and in your web browser, whether it's Firefox, Chrome, Edge, um, these are the browser that we live with and grew up with most of our lives with it, and what actually takes place in one of these things with it as well. So here's what I'm going to uh, do is I want to let me share with you on some of the steps that takes place with it in your web browser, any web browser. So if I open up a web browser, this is my Google web browser, and in the URL, this URL that I have right here, let's say I'm going to pick something very simple that we access every day is your, hopefully your example, that's your eCampus account. Okay. So what actually takes place when you do HTTPS uh, and it directs it to this domain called eCampus.edu? So <clears throat> let me let me just use that as an example with it. So when you actually go in and you type in the URL in the address field of the URL in the, in the address field in the web browser, such as what you saw me just did, what's, what's happening right now, okay? So if I went in and I typed in the address, I'm just going to copy and paste that address in here with it, and we'll talk about what actually takes place with it. So the first thing is I want to break down this URL for you, all right? The HTTPS, or I'm sorry, HTTP forward slash forward slash, this is what's called protocol. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, piece protocol, and so the colon forward slash forward slash. Your domain is this. It always ends in some sort of dot edu, dot com, dot um, net, dot gov. That's your domain. You kind of lease that in the you know, five years, ten years so that you, you can actually run it. So this is the domain. This is what we call it. After this, this becomes if I have a specific directory, I would actually put a path name to this thing. So I'll, I'll make something up like Dan and it has a subdirectory of DAO and then it goes to a particular file called index.html. This is all fictional by the way. That this, this website doesn't exist. So anytime when you have a forward slash a name of a directory that tells you that this is paths to a particular file called index.html with it. Again, <clears throat> need to know for exam purpose, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash is your domain. I'm sorry, protocol. This is your domain is your ecampus.dccd.edu starting with a forward slash. Every time you change a forward slash, it goes into a subdirectory. My parent directory is Dan. It goes to DAO and defaults to a file called index.html. Bear with me with this. All right, so let me make a depiction on the graphics, what actually takes place in the graphics with it. So if I was going to go in here <laughs> on your computer that you have and your home computer with it, and you would actually pull up, uh, let me just do a size of a Imagine this is your client computer with it. And you would actually make a request to send in your URL. And you would actually do this. Let me check the time. Okay, hang on. Let me pause. 